So, Steve Dace, is that enough to get Donald Trump out of this? You're already shaking your head. I think this entire thing just goes to show what happens when the country nominates people that a supermajority of the population thinks are dishonest in, on, in Hillary's case and, and, and crazy in Donald Trump's case. I mean, the idea, for example, that, that Breitbart and the Southern Poverty Law Center are being quoted by both major parties when they represent the worst elements of each side's base uh, is really just preposterous, Tamron, as is the fact that Donald Trump now, by his own admission, invited a bigot to his wedding, and Hillary Clinton, by her own admission, went to the wedding of a bigot. That's where we are when you have candidates that are really out of ideas, that represent um, a generation that is sort of on its last legs, the baby boom generation, and their negatives are so high, we're just going to call names and run to the bottom. And yeah. that's why so many Americans want the sweet meteor of death to arrive before Election Day, Tamara. But and, and I understand that you are not a fan of either of these candidates, but in reality, sometimes uh, names stick because they are true. I'm not calling either one of them a racist or a bigot, but sometimes these things can be true about an individual, especially, Steve, at a time when Donald Trump says that he's attempting to bring in African Americans, bring in Hispanic voters, bring in minorities. Why then is it unfair to call out someone's record or someone's link to a website with the type of headlines that were factual? Those aren't made up. They may not be pleasant to hear, but those are actual headlines from that website. Oh, I don't think it's out of bounds at all. Okay. I mean, if you listen to my show every night, you're going to have a hard time out criticizing me when it comes to <laughs> Donald Trump. All right. And and I've done that on this network before. And the last time I was on here, I drew very stark lines between what conservatism is and what white nationalism is. I, I just think, though, when yeah, listen, Donald Trump made his own bet. He's right. He, everybody's justified to take every shot at him. He chose to use the most incendiary language on every issue because he was trying to essentially run a con campaign. But when you call Robert Byrd, a former Klan leader, your mentor, I'm not sure that you're the one that necessarily ought to be throwing stones here. That's all. So uh, <laughs> there's just so many things here. It's, I can't even uh, know where to start with this, Steve. Um, let me bring in Robert Costa on this from the incendiary language. All of the, 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 the exaggerations, quite honestly, from what Steve just said, and I'll get back to you, Steve, here in a second, to the substance of all of this. Will this get some traction for Hillary Clinton? How does Donald Trump, if he can recover from this, if this is just about bringing in suburban white voters, can he recover from this this weekend? Who's advising him, Robert? Well, the Clinton campaign believes it can have traction, especially with suburban voters in places like Ohio, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania, where racially inflammatory language or statements can often be a real turnoff to voters, even if they're inclined in the conservative or Republican direction. So as you're, if, if you're a Clinton ally or an advisor and you're looking at a swing voter, this is one of the ways to really target them. On the Trump campaign angle, my reporting tells me, based on conversations today, that Trump's going to continue to try outreach, and those efforts will continue with people like Ben Carson going to places like Detroit. Uh, but when it comes to policy, he's going to also have some things in education and other things. Uh, but we'll just have to see, because this is really about, about a brawl between Clinton right. and Trump as candidates fighting in the public, uh, rather than something that Trump can make incremental gains. Real quick, also, Maggie Haberman is tweeting out that the Trump team uh, may be hiring Bill Stepien. Some people will know that that's the aide that was fired by Christie in the uh, Bridgegate scandal. Two sources telling her <laughs> that another controversial person could be joining uh, in. Robert, what are you hearing? Uh, Bill Stepien, someone who, who was implicated in the bridge uh, scandal for Governor Christie, but he remains a confidant of Governor Christie, someone who was a trusted political advisor, a deputy chief of staff for the New Jersey governor. And as he, as he tries to reemerge Bill Stepien onto the political scene, it would be a natural fit for him to go with the Trump campaign. And just quickly going back to Steve and the rhetoric here, I get it, Steve, you are not a fan of Donald Trump, you're not a fan of Hillary Clinton, but this does and has come down according to people like Morning Joe, for example, Joe Scarborough, Republican, that it does come down to uh, your moral compass here. And your compass may put you in the middle or far away from both of these people. Nevertheless, you sound like Rudy Giuliani when I ask you something about Donald Trump. It pivots instantly to Hillary Clinton. He's a part of your party. He tried to identify as a conservative. Right now, he's winning in your state of Iowa. Is he hurting 
your party, not your feelings about Hillary Clinton, not the things that, you know, I think you bring up on your radio show. And we're we're friends, so we're being honest with each other here. The bottom sure. line is, is he hurting the GOP? Please don't pivot to your talking points about Hillary Clinton. Is he hurting your party? Well, they weren't talking points. I mean, yeah. those things are true, um, and, and he's absolutely hurting the Republican Party. That's why a lot of people like me left. I mean, this yeah. is this is not what I signed up to do. I, I signed up to conserve values that I think are best throughout history for what's best for the human condition, and, and Donald Trump doesn't represent any of that. I just think, though, yeah. that that doesn't mean the other side gets right. a free shot without having to defend its own credibility at Fair. the same time. That's all. all. Right. Steve Dace, thank you so much. Great pleasure having you on.